where do you find your inspiration? This is a question I've asked myself many times. Over recent times, I must say that since I've really become more in tune with my writing and I've been promoting it and I've been going out my way to really um, sharpen my writing skills, um, this is something that has been part of this journey, inspiration. Inspiration can come from many places, from many people, just anywhere and everywhere you go. For me, when I find inspiration, I try to find it in just about anything that I do. It could be something as simple as taking a walk and maybe admiring the trees of a park. Or it could be something as simple as having a conversation with someone and maybe something what they've said that really stuck out for me. It could be smell. It could be the smell of someone's perfume that really evokes emotions, you know, that I didn't think had. Or it could be something I simply listened to on the radio. Inspiration comes from everywhere. But one thing I should say, friends, is that inspiration has to come from within. If you're not inspired with yourself, then it's, it's difficult sometimes to gain inspiration from other places. And I think it's very necessary that we appreciate who we are first, and then that builds throughout our inspirational journey. So one thing I want to share with you today is some things that inspires me. And again, for you, it would be very different. But for me, this really helps a lot with my writing and just being the person that I am today. So let's take a look. Okay, so we have some items here, and pretty much they look pretty obvious, but I'm just going to go through them one by one. Now, I am a jury buff. Anyone who knows me knows I love jury. So the more colorful, the more unique, the more strange it is, the more I love it. And some of you might out, out there might say, well, how does jury inspire you? I mean, it's just jury. But believe it or not, just the colors or the way it's made, or maybe it's the story that comes behind it. Maybe it was given to you. Maybe it was something you've made. Whatever it is, you can actually gain inspiration just from your jewelry. Now, I just bought out a bracelet, but for you it could be earrings or a watch or anything. You can find inspiration just about everywhere. And of course, music. I am a music fanatic, and I know what some of you are probably thinking. Let me just open this up just in case. Some of you are probably like, oh, okay, I just cannot believe she is still listening to a CD player when we are on iPods and iPads and, and tablets and everything. But music is music to me. And, you know, to be very honest with you, uh, I, I can't part from my CDs or my cassettes. And, yes, I still have a Walkman. I'll show you that next time. And before there was an iPod or before I got one, I used to make my own CDs. So when I was going away to Atlanta back in 2003, I made a little summer mix. So yes, music really helps. For me, it's not just the music itself. It could be the lyrics. It could be um, the sound of the voices. Just whatever it is, it really, really makes a big difference in my writing. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Perfume, Dora, really? Yes. I love perfume. Um, I wear perfume all the time or body sprays or anything. I just love to smell good. Anyone who knows me, who has been around me can tell you I, I love to smell good. So um, this here is a perfume that I bought. Actually, it's just toilet water. But <laughs> I bought it from the discount store for only $3.99, so it's very cheap. But one of the things that stood out for me is this right here. This looks like a little flower, and I just thought this was cool. And I love the color, and it actually does smell really good, believe it or not. So um, I'm actually wearing this now. And I, I really love it. I, I just love the sweet smells of things. It just really does something to me, and I, it really heightens the senses. Um, I can write a poem just based on this flower here by itself. So, again, inspiration comes from everywhere. And then, of course, the notebook, and you must have a pen. Now, this pen, of course, is of the sun. And the reason why I chose this is because I love the sun, and the sun makes me smile, makes me happy, and so, you know, I would have to get a pen that represents that. And then I have my two notebooks. And I must tell you, my room is filled with notebooks. I write all the time, constantly, constantly writing. I mean, it just... This doesn't end. I mean, it's like writing after writing after writing. See my example, my scribble of a poem that I wrote. You know, there's my to-do list. As you can see, there's more to-do lists. You know, I mean, it's just endless, endless, endless stuff that, that it just keeps going and going and going. But one thing that I must tell you, when you are writing, 
okay? Um, always remember that you need to have a notebook nearby because you can gain inspiration just about anywhere. So always make sure you have a notebook or pen, any pen. You don't have to get a smiley if you don't like it. But anyway, so that way if something comes to mind or a thought that crosses your mind or you're seeing something right away and you gain inspiration, it's something you can jot down right away. So I hope this has helped a little bit. Um, I am a very unique person. I'm sure some of you probably think, oh my gosh, she's unique. But yes, I am. Proud of it. And um, again, inspiration has to start from within. So find your inspiration. Um, go forth with that. Don't let nobody stand in your way. And um, be cre creativity and uh, enjoy your inspirational journey. Until next time, bye-bye.